A uniform metal sphere of radius A and mass M is surrounded by a thin uniform spherical shell of equal mass but a radius of 4A. The center of the shell falls on the surface of the inner sphere. Find the gravitational field at the points P1 and P2 as shown in figure. Right now what is happening over here is I have to calculate the force between I mean the force the gravitational field at point P1 due to the outer shell as well as inner sphere right now again the same concept that if a point if a point is lying inside a hollow sphere then the gravitational field at that very point will be zero due to that hollow sphere right so if I talk about P1 then the gravitational field at P1 will be only due to the metallic sphere and not due to the hollow sphere because uh, the point P1 is lying inside the hollow sphere fine so gravitational field will be given by g into mass of the solid sphere that is small m divided by distance between the center of the metal sphere and the point p1 let's say this distance is x as of now okay so i'll calculate the value of x now this distance is a given to me this total distance is 4a this distance is a now this distance is 4a this distance is a so this very distance will be 3a okay so the distance between both of them is given by a plus 3a that's whole square because that is the distance between the center of the metal sphere and the point p1 so gm into 16a square that is the answer for my first part that is at p1 now if I talk at P2 then the gravitational field will be due to the metallic sphere as well as the hollow sphere and of course it will be along the central line so I can directly add them so the net gravitational field will be given by G into small m that is due to the this one is due to the metallic sphere so the distance is A plus 4A plus A so it is coming out to be a plus 4a plus a whole square and due to the hollow sphere it is g into m because the hollow sphere is of the same mass and the distance between both of them is 4a and um, this a plus a so it is coming out to be 5a whole square so solving this I get gm by 36a square plus gm 25a square which comes out to be 61.900 gm by a square that is the answer